Assalamualaikum Hi everyone Teacher Wani is here How are you today? Okay Today already 7 day of Ramadan Teacher hope all of you in a good condition And stay strong and healthy Okay Next week we will, uh, You will have Mathematic assessment On Tuesday So for today Teacher want to revise with you the topic that will come out in your assessment. So, we will go to topic addition first. Before you answer the assessment question, make sure you have pencil also paper with you for you to calculate. Let's say you get this question, okay? First, how you want to find the answer? You need to write in the vertical format. So, write on your paper like this and then arrange it properly. Make sure the place value of each number in the correct position. Okay? Okay. So, remember, must answer from the ones first. Place value of 1 first Here at the back Do not answer from the 100 place value 100 place value is here Answer it from 1 first So 9 plus 0 will be 9 Correct 1 plus 1 will be 2 Correct So 4 plus 2 is 6 629 Make sure when you already calculate your answer, look properly at your calculation and look properly at your answer and then uh, circle or tick at the answer. Okay? We go to the next question. Okay, next question will be 509 plus 114. Make sure before you calculate, you arrange the number properly. 509 plus 114 like this uh, you need to answer from place value of 1 first from the back okay 9 plus 4 is okay 13 3 put where 3 is the 1 so 3 put at the 1's place value 1 go where 1 go up 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 5 plus 1 is 6. So, the answer is 623. Make sure look back at your calculation. Is it correct or wrong? And then, choose your answer. Okay, we go to the next topic. Okay, next. We go to the subtraction question. Given question is 510 minus 200. Okay, you arrange it and then we start to calculate. Okay, we start from the place value of 1 at the back first. Okay, so 0 minus 0 is 0. Remember the subtraction poem. Numbers the same. Zero is the game. Okay, that one apply to subtraction poem only. Okay, so next one minus zero is one. Five minus two is three. Okay, this is very easy. Make sure you don't get the wrong answer. Okay, remember the subtraction poem. More on the floor. Go next door and take ten more. Okay. This one more on the floor. So go next door and take 10 more. But if you look here, this one also seem like this. So this one cannot take 10 from this one. Okay, so to make sure that this part can take 10 from here. So this one need to borrow from this one first. So 0 borrow from number 5 here. So 5 become, don't forget to cross, 5 become 4. And then this one become 10. 
Ha, then this part can already borrow from here. Borrow from here, this one become 9, this one become 10, okay? So, 10 minus 3 will be, yes, correct, 7. 9 minus 2 will be, yes, correct, 7. How about this one? 4 minus 1? Yes, 4 minus 1 is 3. So, the answer is 377. Next one, we will go to problem solving question. Remember the cubes? Okay, so C stand for circle key number, U stand for underline question, B stand for box mathematics action words. E stand for eliminate unnecessary info and S soft and check. Okay, let's try this question. Okay, we read together. Abu has 642 marbles. Abu give 120 marbles to his brother. How many marbles left? Okay, we use Q. So, the first letter is C. Circle the key number. D, 2. Next one is 120. Okay, next is letter U. U stand for underline the question. So, the question is how many? Ni. How many? How many? Marbles left. Okay. After letter U is letter B. Box any mathi mathematics word. So, box. So, here mathematics word that teacher can see is left and give. Okay, next is letter E. Eliminate and necessary in four. So, if you want to eliminate the the name also can like this. Okay, that's all. Okay, so as soft and check. So we have number six hundred and forty two and one hundred twenty. Uh, word give and left. So the question asks how many marbles left? Left is the keyword for subtraction operation. So, so you need to my minus ke 642 minus with 120. 2 minus 0 is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. 6 minus 1 is 5. Okay. If you look here, there are balls. Many balls. Okay. So, you want to count how many balls. Remember, repeated addition. Okay. Repeated addition means you plus this number. Uh... The number of balls here with this one. So, how many balls here? One, two, three. So, you write three here. Plus, how many balls here? One, two, three. Okay? So, three plus three is? Yes, correct. Six. Okay, that one is for repeated addition. What if in the multiplication form or multiplication sen sentence? Okay, remember, count the group first. What is it? Count the group first. How many group? One. Two. Okay, two. So you write two times. Then you count 
the value, uh, the number of the things inside the the group. How many? One, two, three. So two times three is six. This is how you want to write in the multiplication sentence. Okay. Make sure you remember and practice. Okay. You can. Uh, try to do the question in your activity book or the homework that teacher give. Okay? That's all for today. Teacher hope you can understand and good luck for your assessment next week. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.